Welcome back to more Mana Lords action. And specifically, welcome back to Leondis, aka New Isengard. Where we where the fires of industry are burning ever brighter. As we seek to build our massive wall and towers in the least efficient way possible. Because we're crazy. Rather than just going through with the materials we've got. In a sensible time, we're just trying to build them all in one big go. Because why not? We're just leaving them to it. But yeah, we figured out that they all store it here in the logging camp. So we'll just leave them to it for a little bit until they're maxed out. Then we'll come back and build some more. So see you later, Leondis. You guys are otherwise all set. Although actually you must be close to... Can I upgrade you guys? Yes, I can upgrade you guys. Oh, no, I need more planks. Nuts. Yeah, we're out of planks because I've told them not to, to do any more. Don't we, need, don't we need planks for stuff? Like, is it the war bows that need planks? Yes. That's what's been eating all my planks. To be fair... It's fine because we're actually we're actually sat at 100 war bows. Wow. So yeah, we've got 30. Yeah, let's we are selling the war bows every so. Let's just leave them in there. I could trade the war bows for planks though. That's true. It costs 12. So if that tech that makes them all cheaper. That's fine. Um, it's November. Once it is, once it is spring again, or there's the rain. Maybe into summer. That's when we'll settle this Isengard. <laughs> Even though we're calling that Isengard at the moment, this will be official Isengard. How are we doing over here? Are we getting the stone? No, I'm, I haven't assigned anyone there. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's the farmhouse. Uh, at a plowing station. And, yeah, we can have eight people, eight villagers in here. At a plow. I could trade my planks, couldn't I? How many planks have we got here? Oh, loads of planks. Yeah, let's let's trade them across then. We've got the this one though, so oh, they're on their way back, are they? Do we know how much they've traded each time? Like how much? How much? How much stuff can a mule take? After placing or oh wait no hang on you're probably not doing it you're probably that mule is probably being brought to us for the first time oh he's he's gone bartering so he's just walking there without a mule okay that's interesting Right, yeah, so we haven't got the mule yet. This is the mule's being delivered to us. Yeah, we could do a bit more of a direct road. This is very true. So we will go. <laughs> there we go. It's a lovely woody track. To your veggies. That's good. Good, 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 good. Got plenty of eggs. Nice, 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 nice.
More timber, my lord. More timber. You'd probably do a bit quicker, actually, if I built another hitching post. enough influence to claim another region which we i mean technically if we wanted more stone it should be that one over there well it's fallow right now it doesn't need to be fallow fallow though does it Fence up. Force an early harvest. Minimum crop growth at any kind of harvest is fifteen percent. Oh, then you can do rotation. Yeah, that's cool. So we currently got fifty one percent. regenerates facility. Is there a way to see how much okay, It'd be nice to know what three pluses means. That's obviously like max fertility though right now, but is that 51% then? I guess. Like we can't increase it anymore, can we? can build fallow fields on non foot i don't think you can i don't think you can change the i think from what i understand you can only ever get the fertility back up to where what it is currently listed here like you won't change a yellow region to a green region so i'm assuming it's that's that's our max But let's try that. Another family in here. Threshing priority. You've got so much, so many options here to optimize just your farming side of things. It's pretty cool. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sheep. Um, so you can use sheep on a, on a field as a pasture if you upgrade it with fences. But all that does is help restore the fertility. I don't think there's any way of actually improving fertility. At least not in right now. We're up to 103 timber already, which is good. You know, they're using the other timber yards to store stuff, which is good. Mm, I could sign a dedicated some, but I think. I mean, they'll keep working and just drop. That's actually quite a good thing that they'll keep working, keep logging. They'll just go drop it off to a another logging camp for storage. Somebody working in each of these. Oh, no one to build then. That's fine.
Well, haven't you got access to a few or fuel stall? We'll probably need to build another market stall there. Is that one maxed out now? Yep. This one maxed out? Yep. Okay. Then let's build another little market place. Uh, actually, no, if anything, you guys think it's because I need another woodcutter's hut. Did I, ever, did I ever build another one? I know I talked about it. Probably didn't. But we, so we, we would still need a market stall space, wouldn't we? Um, we don't want another... I mean, I could build another little market bit here. What well, makes the most sense, putting this is on the, that's on the outskirts, really. We've got one there. Since so we're going to build more up there, it doesn't really make a huge amount of sense to, to do something there. Um, yeah, just pop a couple of stools in there. And then I think I might actually put in another woodcutter's lodge. to then work the stalls. You then want it fallow and then either, yeah, like back to wheat or something else. Switch between the two, I guess. Plowing progress, sowing progress, crop growth. Yes, yeah, so we missed sowing crops, haven't we? In autumn, it'll be out of sequence for a bit, but we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. How are they on stone? Good amount. How are we doing here? Have we set is this set up properly now? I can have another mule if we have more regional wealth here. Okay. I think she's also been transporting, hasn't he? He has been bartering. Oh, he's over here. Nice. So where's he going? Let's follow him. He's taking firewood. To then for the rest of us to bring stone. 91. So we had 85 stone before, didn't we? So it has definitely... Or no, we had 90, I think, actually. So we gained a little bit of stone. Oh no, we got power at 106. Nice. 137 logs though. That's good. Build me a market worthy of Mordor. <laughs> Approvals up at 80. That's great. I keep growing. Go build some more bur uh, burgage plots soon. Yeah, you just tell me they're all full. Which is fine, but they should all be keep they should all keep working to fill up the other storage, which is fine. family in Cubbington. Good, good, good. Do I need to tax for the church? Um, yeah, we've got loads of influence, but we, we you should always tax the church. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. There's it's surplus of food. Um, which we have plenty of. This is all of our surplus right now on show. Um, 
so yeah we definitely want to keep that i mean we could probably increase it for more influence because we're going to need loads of influence you need a thousand for each region there's another three regions we could claim i don't know if we're going to claim every single region but you need 2,000 to claim the barons, so we'll need 4,000 influence total to grab both of his regions to get our victory. How are you guys doing on food, actually? You got berries, you got plenty of eggs. Okay, good. I'm glad I got plenty of chickens in. I definitely want to get another mule. Be nice if it, if it would show me what she's like, how much she's carrying right now. Even if I like press tab, that'd be kind of nice to see what they're carrying. So I have an idea, I guess, of uh, how much we were trading across or something like. That. How are it minus one cloaks? Oh, wow, we got so many shoes now. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. All the shoes. How much do shoes sell for? They sell for eight. We should establish that trade route. That'll be the ale that's uh, costing us here. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's decent. Trade stone for shoes. Yeah, we could. I mean, we're, we're trading for the firewood right now, which we've got plenty of. So that's that's probably just keep it at the firewood. Plenty of it. stone buildings in the laws man there's no there's no um i mean there's the garrison tower which requires some stone but everything's wood at the moment it's in early access no no stone structures as such aside from the um the church which can be a, a small stone church on upgrade okay let's just upgrade I'm assuming, um, I wonder how many, you can have so you can have two mules, but I'm assuming I can build multiple pack places. Actually, we should start trading planks over, shouldn't we? I'm going to build another pack station. Oh, if only I could fit another one in there. Oh, we put the we put the market stuff in, didn't we? Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just put another one in here for now. Everybody pitch in. We don't have enough regional wealth though. Um, I should probably think about building the manor. Which I said I was going to put up here, wasn't I? To then have a little walled bit across the road. The Lord's Man. Although, is that all it's our fertility? That's all good fertility. So I don't really want to use up a good spot for it. Um, we'd be able to have it over here, but that's probably where we'll put the farmhouse. I mean, every, somewhere's going to get hit with it. Put the Lord's Manor over here, but it'd be a very weird place having it all the way away from the village. Let's go with my original plan, I think.
but I can actually see yeah, I can build a few bits here, can't I? So I can whack the garrison tower there if we want to. Um, I won't build it just yet. Don't want to use up any resources. Come here. Build that there. We'll build the road out from it. Lovely. Put a family in. And we'll need to get a mule. We won't be able to just yet. Um, well, I was thinking the, putting the manor in does not generate me money. Like I need to, I, what I need to do is upgrade these. Which is a clothing stall. So, although... I was thinking, although I could put goats in. Um, but we can't afford to. So we're gonna have to hunt wild animals. Why do I have to carry this alone? It's fine. It's all good. Fine. It's that one, and it would be. I mean, I guess again, send stone, bring back firewood. Although, um, we could do it for. Oh, we could. Okay, we could just do it for clothes, couldn't we? Change that from firewood to. Choose. Um, well, what's the value there? That's got to be for what I'll get. Point one of a stone. Not point. Not point one of a stone for every one shoe. I think that's why, wasn't it? So we have to trade a lot of it back. So if we do that, at least we know it's an equal trade each time, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Ten stone for each shoe, or it's ten, ten, ten shoes for each stone. Uh, I mean, I guess you know what. Let, let, let's just try it, and let's just see. I'm assuming it means that it won't be like ten trips, and then I'll generate one stone. It'll be like okay, they'll go and get ten shoes and trade it for one stone. But I don't know how much they carry. Orders can be placed once a month per region for more. Oh, right, yeah, for that, yeah. But you'll just start walking, won't you? Anyway, I don't, I don't know how. It would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice to get a few more details on how much they're trading every so often. Trade dyes instead of firewood. Um, uh, could do, but I've got far more firewood than I do dies. Banner camp. Boom. Up oh, back in the same place again. Cool. Um, I was about to say, you know, I don't take all my workers away from the fields. Oh, but I'd love to send something that's not my retinue. Love how, like comparing this, the screenshots now that I've taken, seeing how the village has expanded. This is awesome. Um, right, okay, they're about set. Yeah, we need to build some more houses, don't we, for more lumber, more timber. How are we looking on this? Okay, well, we're halfway there on the timber. And we're over halfway on the stone, which we are, we are gathering more and more of it all the time, which is good. So it seems all to be working, which is nice. Um, oh, I can't upgrade it to level three because you... Oh, we need the planks. Yeah, yeah. And also your supply, your tavern supply is not done. Are we out of ale? Like, I think that's the next thing we need to do. We need to get more ale. Or I need to stop trading for it, because that's killing my uh, my gold income. What I'll need to do is probably send some regional wealth back. The problem is, it's actually, the nearest regional wealth is going to send it to here, isn't it? 
I mean, I could lower the taxes, couldn't I? For the moment. So I won't collect anything. So anything they do get, they'll just keep until regional wealth goes and they're trading for. Uh, no trade. The yeah. Um. I can't even establish a new trade one to make some more. Make some more gold. Not right now, anyway. I can only tweak existing ones that I've got active. I've got five ale. So, yeah, we're on limited supply of that. Quite a lot. It's costing 100. Well, not even 180. It's costing quite a bit. Let's drop it down so I have a set plus of 10. So, it's 180 from that. And, oh, wow. We've, we've been selling a lot of war bows, though. Our surplus is certainly down. I mean, I might as well sell all. I don't need any surplus of war bows right now. So sell all of them. Yeah, eventually we'll get some um, barley in Covington Centre over here. But it's going to take a while to establish it. So I can't just kind of like... Throw it out straight away, unfortunately. Um, that's all stored up. That's all stored up. Do we need to build any more here? Like, are we at max storage? 29, 2, 31, 7, 5. Okay, there's, a, there's a little bit of space still. We can build some more. Don't worry about it just yet. If anything, we are going to need uh, probably some more, more homes, aren't we? So where are we actually gonna where are we actually gonna put, put permanent housing? <laughs> Build something out of the back here, but it's a bit close to the trees. Uh it's hard to plan because I'm, I'm gonna end up destroying all of these eventually. We could prep for the clay going over there, but that's eventually just gonna turn into something else, isn't it? Um by the church. Let's get that way around. The sheep fields there. So probably not. I mean, we could we could have some houses up around here. And some very big, broad plots here. I don't want to go too much into that forest because I quite like having that there. Oh, whoa, we cleared all that space. I mean, how much does that freed up for? Nope, it's really good fertility. This one there was a little bit more of that. Was it the, oh, was it the rye? No, all of that's good for rye. Yeah. We'd have rye there for flour. Yeah, so we don't want to... That's all going to be farm. Um, We could spread down here, have a little offshoot down there. Other side of the manor. Although we've got to be careful about where I was going to place the towers, don't we? We could have something down here. Or section down here. Some little houses down this bit, perhaps. Serious frontage. I 
going to get much. It's going to be, those are all going to be chickens. It costs some lumber to build all of those, but that'll be right. Uh, some lumber, some timber, I should say. Okay, right back over here. Oh, where was that? Yeah, bandit camp. Um, the archers are much quicker as well. Screw it. I'm going to take the full, the full group out. Resources added to inventory. Oh, they're also going after those bandits, so I need to race against them. Yeah, so good thing that we did go for the arch, because they'll be the only ones quick enough to respond. Oh yeah, I never put anyone in there, did I? Whoops. Let's whack two of them in there so they can get some stalls going because that's often the main complaint. Stalls. You're not being supplied with that. Crew will fall if not filled. I mean, you'll struggle right now because they're probably off at war. We've got some little stalls in here. One free store location here. Food store, clothing store, and another clothing store. So hopefully this firewood store goes in there. Which hopefully will be done by these guys shortly. Okay, my archers are moving rapidly. They're just starting to come through here. on the war path. Shifty Shifty thanks for growing with the two on sub for four months. Sure if you're facing thank you. Yeah, they're marching across that way. My archers. Running on through. Nice and fast. Is hitting their fatigue, but they are they are covering the distance nicely. They've got quite a few more families here, so let's get another family on there. It's all oh, it's all stone gone. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Yep. I'll have to go grab the supplies, but that is fine. We'll leave that road until the supplies have been gathered. Uh, then we can build more fields. I guess build them in... Oh, I don't know, actually. Do you need to... You don't need to... You just have to assign a family to a field. In the demo, I think. No, they just tend. Oh, hopefully, they just. They'll just work any fields around them, I guess. But yeah, I still don't know what the. I'm assuming it's. Yeah, it's, it's a Morgan per family. I think that was what it said before when, when the tutorial came out for it. It's like. Almost power the fields as soon as winter passes, but no later than November. 
seems to be part, but no later than November. Then they will sow the chosen crop, harvest into around September. Winter has... Well, I mean, winter is starting to pass, right? But... I guess we'll find, figure it out. Um, interesting to see where the resources added to the inventory. I don't know when where that come from. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, just try and build. I don't know, build a really big field or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Apparently assign an ox there. It's good. There we'll get in the burgage plots. Uh, we've got quite a lot of veggies. I might but more veggies always good, yeah. I can't afford it right now. Family requests more market area for their stall. Cool, so you need another market area. Um, I feel like we need another little bit of market tree down here. But just lots of little ones is probably a good shout. Yeah, five stalls, that's fine. And probably do a market there, although they might have access to that one. That might be enough. Maybe the archer's carrying the bell rag and just dropped. Maybe. Slowly making their way across there. We're all good. Let's grab my archers. And get them across the field. to hit. You remember that's going to be impacting things here, isn't it? How are we looking on timber? Okay, so that's at max storage. That's not. That is. That is. That is. Not. That one definitely is. We had a we had a bit more, but it's uh gone into building those houses, but that's fine. We've nearly got enough stone this. The trade for that is going pretty well. Uh I should be interested to see Cubbington. How is our firewood? Okay, we're getting lots traded in, which is good. And here, actually, yeah, have we got any? Have we got any shoes yet? Let's know if they're doing that. Turning home, right? I'm assuming with some shoes. Oh, he's out in the field. Hoeing. Plowing by hand. Here he is. He's coming to plow. Nice.
Okay, got quite a few of the transported goods there, but where? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I just want to check there was another ox. I wasn't taking the only one. Marching forward. Oh, we got a we got a banner now. Oh, <gasps> look, it's got me logo on it. Oh, that's sick. They've got me banner. Oh, that's so cool. That's freaking epic. Gotta get some screenshots of that. I think we've marched up enough that we've triggered the bandits because it sounds like they're... Yeah. Welcome to Cabington, fallen warriors. What are you possibly doing here? Who knows? Who knows? I like how this one feels like so nice and like open and rural compared to the hustle and bustle of the Leondis now, which is a, a large village. We've got more regional wealth here because we could really do with some livestock here to help part them all back. That's probably, the, that's probably the slow part of this now. We need more livestock. Um, uh, oh, wait, hang on. Can't I... I was about to say, can't, I can, I've got a livestock trader somewhere, haven't I? Oh, right. It's because I've got so much sheep. Yeah, stop importing. No more trade. Stop. That'll save me some cash. Um. What's the, where's the merchant for them? Is he coming in? No, he's, he's leaving again. That's fine. We should start getting some gold. Once we defeat things, if we defeat the region wealth, we go to the nearest region, which will either... Potentially, would it potentially go there, or would it go here? I guess I'll risk it for here. Because we do need to... I want to add another mule in. I want to add some stuff to the Burbage plots here. Spending on ales as well, that's true. Yep. Right, let's see these guys come in and fight my archers. Um, shoot at will. Instead of shooting a volley ultra far directly at the enemy, increasing accuracy up close, but increased accuracy at half the maximum range or more. Yes, we don't want that just yet. Bandits are just on their way. There we go. Pull it. There we go. Quick. Point blank volley. Easily broken. Nice. All right. 
go clear out the camp because the enemy armies are marching through Covington. We don't want that. GG archers. Yeah, I wonder when, when we get more random raiders popping up again. Coming on in. Definitely want to do the... Uh, 22. Okay, cool. We can get another box. Definitely would like to face more raiders, to be honest, at this point. Be doing the scenario where you face more raiders after we're done with this one. Try things differently. I yeah, I think I might just crank the raider spawn rate up like crazy. I don't believe you can change like, gameplay, anything like that. No, you can't change it once you've started. We can actually claim another region if we wanted to, but I'm, kind of like, I'm not sure if I need all the other ones, to be honest. I might just maybe face a bit of a challenge by claiming his realm. I mean, I don't know what happens once we start doing that, but I guess we can find out. Just have like this one for farming, that one for industry. I'd be quite happy with just those three, I think. You message. You were sent to the nearest town. Regional wealth gained. Is it? Is it gone up over here? Yes. Dang it. Uh, nuts. I mean, it will give more to these guys to start with. Yeah, it's because they're close to us. That I kind of wish you the option was choose a town to send it to. Run. That's bugged. It's now showing me that one. Beyond this, yeah, there we go. Timber, 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 timber. Let's get things on five times speed. There, they're plowing it nicely. Plowing. Then it would need to be sown, but I don't know if they'll, they won't be able to do it now, surely. He is making short work of, uh, of that field. Gets it done real quick. Yeah, we sighted their armies. I'm just going to go for a little wander. Okay, we got the mana. Noise. Uh, won't be taxing anyone. Um, we will try and generate more influence through the tithe, though. That's getting us a good bit. We can actually even challenge the. Once you start doing it, does he just constantly come at you? Oh, of course, we've got another retinue. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's good. The Cubbington. The, I feel like calling it call, calling this retinue the Cub Club. Oh, you know what? I was meant to... Actually, in summer is when we'll settle that one. In summer is when we will settle. Oh, they are also going to... They will start sowing it. Um, we've got quite a few families, so let's get farming. Let's get rid of that road. And... More fields, I guess. Two point six Morgans. Let's just 
Why can't I slap that one in? Too many Morgans. Oh, will it only let me do one? Oh, no, yeah, it's because they haven't picked up the supplies yet. That's why. There we go. Policy. Oh, yeah, policies. Do, 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 do. Forgot about them. Covington, policies. Uh, on which deposits be twice as fast at the cost of reduced yields from crops. Ew. Get food, decreases approval. Uh, no, don't need that. Working press locked in early access. Locked in early access. Yeah, I don't really need, I don't need either of those. We should definitely upgrade our, our burgage plots as well. Um, but we need clothing. Although, shouldn't we have some... Oh my, look at all those planks. Shouldn't we have some... Um, some shoes? Disband the unit. Back to work, everybody. Right, you guys maxed out. You're not maxed out. Maxed out. Maxed out. Maxed out. Maxed out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Still not maxed out. You guys need food. Um, food stall, food stall, food stall. We could whack somebody else in the granary to share food. We should be getting more families. Do we actually need any more construction done? We've got all these plots done, ready to go. Oh, we've actually got, yep, we've actually got some people in here. Not in here yet, though. Can't afford any more regional wealth. Add a tanner and a forester to Covington. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Gotta look at all that forestry with the deforestation. That is. We have so many plants. I mean, it's going to be great for. Um, We need planking. Um, let's leave a construction reserve, shall we? Uh, you know what, actually, just leave it up at 28, because then they'll fill up their full storage, and then anything that's spare goes to bank land. Yeah, actually, looking at that, we do probably need a forester's hut. Cleared out a new sector for the village here. Yeah. yeah, build it back. I like I liked having the trees there, so let's let's bring that back in. Come on, lady. Come on. Set that as the area. plant all over there. We'll pop, we'll pop more families in there when we can. We're actually at our limit, though, of plots unless we upgrade some. Great 
of those for now because we don't need to actually pop any more plots down and that frees up space nicely and then back over to Leondis. get genetic full storage full timber 302 nice we are nearly there how are we on everything else we've nearly got enough stone um planks will come once we're i mean we'll keep all these logging camps for a little bit because they can just make make our saw mill very very happy that's a 32 so it's just one two three Or not max storage just yet. Okie dokie, you got that one there. Uh, we're going to pop someone else. Oh, we've already popped someone else in the granary, which is getting me food stall, firewood stall. Let's get another one in there. Everyone's got their food. I never put anyone in here at the Weaver Workshop. How much yarn have we got? Not much. We've only got two wool. Feel like maybe I need more sheep farms to manage. The number of sheep that I've got. Do that in there, actually, and then take someone off the granary because it'll be the hunter's camp that will get us more. Right, we're in April. Soon to summer, and then we'll get Isengard set up. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. We completely cleared this whole space. Mainly because that's meant to be our only logging camp for the whole village. <laughs> wow. Let's clear that quite nicely. Good bit of space. Carving turn. You guys are nearly at high growth. Top population is 53. How much, what's our population like over here? 100 foot. Wow, we've got eyes exploded, isn't it? We started at just over 100, I think, today. And we have got some apples as well. It does seem like they eat apples, which is good. Right, we'll leave all that for a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Lonely Manor. Lord Deforestation, the stream, is it sponsored by Manscaped? <laughs> no, but it should have been, shouldn't it? Uh, it would have been funny. Oh, yeah. Derp. Maybe have someone on the hunting camp. We'll set the hunting limit to five, seeing as there's only 20 of them there. Okay, I can build that other field now, but we do not want to work it. Um, I mean, all this bit's upgraded, so we'll need some help on that. You know what? I'm gonna. I don't know if we don't have you working on the stall, then there won't be anyone to work. Yep, yeah, another family moved in. Nice. Perfecto. 
Just had to wait. All right, let's get another field going. Three point three Morgans. Still won't let me build it. Because it's awkwardly in that spot. That one is it is three Morgans too much? No, is it something to do with that clipping onto the road? It's not like the bend in the road. Okay. I just... Oh, let me do it there. And then have it wheat again for now is kind of what I want. 47% fertility. Crop growth at 17%. So we'll see what it goes up to after we fallow it. Good crop growth on it, though. So that bring the oxen into plow. That does it so quickly. That's great. Almost as satisfying as watching it happen in. Uh, Farming sim. Doing on timber. Wish at a, at a glance it would tell you if you were full as well. Those are so we've got we've got three that aren't full. and we'll be proud of my farm. Good. Good. Again, sowing seeds. I mean, we're doing it in the wrong time, right? Crops grow. Is it like just somewhere gives you the best chance for it? It doesn't seem to matter too much, to be honest down to harvest, isn't it? Yield, estimated resources produced, slash, and days left to harvest, 95 days, and a yield of 11. Okay, yeah, all right. That's good to know. They're all getting, cracking on with that, getting that working. Uh, more farm families, please. Everyone work them fields. So the fertility is going down as we're quite literally working it. Let's see what we can get it back up to. This is the best farm in the world. <laughs> Crop 
rotation triggers after sea harvest season ends. Yeah. The same for both. Okay, so we're gonna get nothing. So, so yeah, 79 days until harvest in the autumn. 22 from that one so far, which is good. going to get our own ale because that's that's killing me with that with 18 import price here that's really getting us these must be nearly done 10 29 okay just that one left so let's get some more we'll need like more, I think. Well, they've, already got, they've already got loads of logs going, yeah. I just need it for storage. So I'll just slap them here then. There we go. Speed. is growing. It's pretty cool. More families. I say, I guess we should probably want to try and max this out for when it is harvest time so that they get it all in. We got two shoes at last. Oh yeah, because it's taking so long to trade all the stone away for the shoes. Um, I don't actually think we need to... Have we got any stone left? I don't think we do, do we? We've got 24 stone in construction. I... I mean, we will need more stone, but we're going to have to trade it from, like, over here, or we'll have to claim this one to get it next as a rich deposit, or I was just going to go to war with them anyway because they've got quite a bit of influence and just let that keep gaining up. I uh, haven't decided yet, although we'll probably need it. Oh, no, yeah, tower's the only thing needs stone, and that we've already built it. We've got enough stone here, so yeah, let's not trade any more. Ask for any more stone. What have we got a lot of? I mean, it's going to be sending wheat over, isn't it? So. But we won't, we won't do it yet, to be honest. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, it's that's what we could do. Send our planks. We'll need all the planks for you guys, are right? Yeah, we'll need all of the planks for. Um, send planks for shoes and send planks. So that's every one plank we'll get two back, isn't it? 
Uh, what's the trade value there? Oh, 0.2 is still not great. Um, what else do we need? What, what do we need here? We've got plenty of food sorted now. Um, hot, hot leather. We, have we got much leather though? Spare. So much firewood. Mm, no, we don't have any leather. Um, guess we'll trade everything for shoes. And now, because we've got so many shoes, we'll try selling some. So you have two posts doing the same thing. We don't need any more. Planks for shoes. Get your planks for shoes. They're going to have a yield of 10. 40. That's looking good, though. Can't build the wall until the tower's built. Um, you can... It'll let you do it or like place it down in the planner because you just action everything at the same time like oh this has been committed so yeah you could just do walls or whatever so it will let you do it and we'll just do it through each tower but like a post through each one i guess See if we can just get to filling those up or get pretty close to the timber. Oh, I remember when there was a forest behind us, guys. Cleared that out. I think I might set a forester to redo some of the forest around here. We can see where we want it based... Um, on where we've left the towers. <laughs> it's like, oh, what used to be there? Yeah, forest used to be here. We do need to keep part of it clear, though, for... Is it rye? So we'll just set trees. We'll set trees direct, like, around here. And we'll leave that space open. Then we can have a little bit of farming going on. Barley's what I need to look at, actually. What we probably should do. You have some barley fields over here. Or barley fields over here. Or barley fields over here. Getting some barley so we can brew our own ales would be lovely. Oh, look at those fields. They look wonderful. The farmer's life for me. is august yeah so it's in fact it's the end of the summer we should plop down our settlement stuff here although i was, I was hoping for a bit more gold wasn't i for the top level of the settlers camp um i mean yeah it makes sense to have the village directly down here and then industry building straight off it so we'd have to do logging up over here, I think. Would we, uh, I guess we can... If we clear away the trees, overlaps animal habitat might cause migration. Would we lose it or would it just move to a different spot within the re within the region? Or do we just lose, like, the cap on that? Does anyone know how the migration works? Or do we just lose from our total number of them? But actually, uh, yeah, we could put it in here. That would be a solid spot. I was think I was trying to go for plentiful actually to give them loads of starting supplies. So we need 750 for that. But I'm not currently taxing my 
peasant. So, I, you know, I'm going to hold off doing Isengard a little bit longer. Just because I want to go with the highest treasury I can for them. Which means I should probably start taxing these guys. But I'm trying not to tax them. Because I know they're, they're struggling with their regional wealth right now. They are struggling. We are so nearly there with the timber. But that is all we've got time for today. So that is where we shall wrap things up for more Mana Lord action. Look at our lovely little farming land now. Anyway, those watching on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed another Man Lords episode. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.